Okay, uh, Joy Blue here, and today I want to talk about the SQL variable declaration. So every variable in SQL Server starts with an at sign, um, and so in order to use it, well, here let me show you that. So if I want the variable, I could give it a name, and I start with the at sign, and I would say um, my variable, right? Now, in order to declare it or actually uh, create the variable. You have to start with declare, just like that. So now I have a variable, but I left something off. I need to give it a type. So a type can be any of the data types um, that you can put in a column for SQL Server, um, which would be like a integer or a um, decimal um, or a varchar or an, a date time or whatever, right? So we'll start and say declare, we're gonna make an integer. And I will just say my int, make it descriptive. And so once you've declared an integer, now you have that variable, but you need to put something in it, right? And so um, I've declared it as, as a integer. And now to put something in, I can either use set or select. And I will use set right here. So I'll say set at my int and I could say equal to three, right? And so now it'll have something in it, the number three. And if I wanna see what's in it, all I have to do is say select at my int. And you can see IntelliSense actually shows you that it knows about this my int, right? And so let's run those three things here. And there you have it. So three was in there. Now I could go on and say set at my int equal to at my int plus one. So we declared it as an integer. We set it equal to three. So now three is inside of it. And then we took the three, added one to it, and put it inside of it. So we should get a four. So let's go ahead and see if that's what we get here. Run that, and we've got a four. So I did tell you that there's another way to set this. And the, not, the other way you can set it is to say select like that. Let's see if that works also. And so you can see that works also. So you can use set or select. As always, if you find this helpful, uh, please leave a comment below, click the like button, or subscribe to my channel. You can also visit me at sqltrainingonline.com, and I hope you enjoyed this free video.